Hello viewers, and welcome back to another Brucey Magic video. Today we'll be reviewing The Great Western Manners by Victory Work. Before continuing with this review, I just wish to point out, this will not be my most detailed review to date, due to time constraints and also because recently I feel exhausted by the amount of videos I have made. So please just accept this for what it is, a simple review of a good piece of DLC. The Great Western Manors by Victory Works, finally one of the last remakes that we need for Train Simulator in the GWR Steam Depository. The loco is very well detailed and seems to be a massive improvement over the J21, the last time I reviewed a Victory Works product. This loco has a very comprehensive livery pack, going all the way from GWR years all the way through to BR and preservation. There are many many features and advanced control modes for this locomotive, of which I will not go into great detail on this review as it will take too long. I like this engine, although I do find it very complex to drive on advanced mode. However I do seem to find that that is down to personal taste. As such, I always drive this in standard mode with a combination of keyboard and the HUD in action. The pack is very good value considering the variants, the liveries included and also the performance differences between the early types, BR types and preserve types of the Loco. The pack also comes with two wagons included, one of them is a GWR Beaver A flat and the other one is a GWR Morel wagon. I'll be showing these off later in this review. And I think it's time we got down to real business. Let's get to the review. The model that Victory Works has made here seems to be a fantastic thing of beauty. It's a highly detailed model and really surpasses a lot of expectations I had from the product. Some of you may find that quite a shocking thing for me to say, but after the J21 I did feel a lot let down by Victory Works. However, they seem to have recuperated themselves fantastically with this product. A lot of effort has gone into the scripting for this model, and you can apply a lot of these changes with ease using a tool from the Victory Works blog on their website. This will give you a number string to make sure you have all the correct details, names, numbers, etc. added to your chosen locomotive. The pack is a certified bargain, costing only £13.50 available right now from the Steam South Supreme website. Along with the two wagons that I have previously mentioned, the engine comes with a selection of scenarios as well as a multitude of quick drives consisting of light loco, freight and passenger consists which represent all locos across all eras. This is a very useful thing and saves a lot of time setting up new quick drive consists for the locomotive. The cab model on this locomotive is excellently detailed. Basically, near enough everything is interactive, or so it seems. All the controls function either by way of a keyboard shortcut, or by using a mouse and grabbing hold of various controls and moving your mouse about. Plenty of whistle variations are also included on this loco, by way of operation in the cab, by keyboard shortcut and also there are details in the manual for other handy whistle sounds such as permissions pass signal at danger and also a control space whistle for a short blast. Most of these controls really truly apply to advanced mode which is activated by pressing control A to toggle it on or off at any particular time, preferably when you're stationary which I learnt to my detriment when I did it on the move. Basically it blew up the loco. You can drive in standard or simple mode, which personally, in my personal preference, I find very, very enjoyable myself. I like the advanced mode, not to my cup of tea, but I do like it's a really detailed and heavily engaging mode of driving the loco. It gives plenty of playability options to the player as they wish to see fit. 
The logo comes with customizable lamp codes, accessible by using Control 1 through 4 and using combination of H, Shift H and other buttons to create the active head codes you would like. These button options also bring up the head codes on the tender at the rear of the loco for tender first running. The tender crest can be altered for the livery of your loco by using the control and F function keys. I believe this one is F5. Please excuse me if I have made a mistake. Then we control F6, again please excuse me for any mistakes, brings up the relevant headboards for the era of your locomotive. These include big names like the Mayflower, Torbay Express, the Royal Duchy and others. The add-on comes with two wagons. The one on the left is a Beaver A flat wagon and on the right is a GWR Morel wagon. Both of these wagons seem to be reasonably well detailed, in line and in keeping with other wagons that Victory Works has made and released with previous GWR locos. The wagons come in two selectable options in the editor and they are unloaded and also loaded. The beaver wagon contains a wood pallet load and the morel wagon seems to have what looks like a ship's propeller. Both quite interesting loads which are reflectant upon the prototype of the GWR always had interesting wagons with interesting loads. As always, it's time for that final part of the video, the final verdict. First up, we have the negatives. The loco seems to have advanced. What I mean by that is, this is a point of personal preference, and that's why I've made an exception against it. I can't really find anything to fault with this loco, if I'm perfectly honest. Although if I looked a lot harder, I probably could. The Loco is a great testament to scripting. However, I much prefer just driving in standard or simple mode with this sort of locomotive. I rather enjoy a drive for what it is rather than learning how to drive it realistically. The second point is I was getting frame rate issues during gameplay. And that's why you haven't seen so many clips of me moving about or driving the Loco to show off the sounds as an example. That is mainly because I kept getting frame lag. I don't know why I'm getting the frame lag. I was only on the Great Western Era version route of the Riviera line. I'm not sure if this is a multitude of just how my PC is currently set up, background processes, or just train simulator being train simulator. But if anyone else has any issues with frame rate problems, I would like you to leave a comment below. It would be very interesting to see if anyone else has had the same issue. Once again, I also make an exception on the second point because it could be an individual problem in my PC or how I set things up rather than the actual product itself. And now for the positives. This is an extremely good quality add-on, possibly one of the best ones I've seen for such a substantially long time, especially within the Steam part of the TS market. There is an extensive list of quick drives that come with this locomotive and the two wagons included. This makes things a lot easier for people who just like to do quick drives rather than organise their own scenarios. Due to the vast amount of variations and performance differences that have been scripted into the pack, it's nice to see that light loco, short goods and passenger formations have been programmed into the quick drive selections. The sounds that are applied to this model are probably the most accurate sounds we're going to get for a GWR Manor. Obviously done by SSS, Steam Sound Supreme, they are obviously the best in the business. They sound absolutely excellent, the loco sounds absolutely top notch, and my god you can get the girl to absolutely thrash if you drive her correctly. The textures have improved an awful lot since the last time I reviewed a Victory Works product. The last time I did that was with the J21. If people remember watching that review, you'll probably find that I did have quite a good criticism of the textures in place on the Loco itself. I actually found that the J21 was quite disappointing, with certain textures, especially brass fitments, not looking polished enough. I've noticed that this has changed on the Manor, so that brass textures do appear to be a little bit more polished. The copper cap 
on the chimney also seems to be of good quality. All the livery variations that I have looked at in the sim are actually really good. They've been done really well, their alpha layers are not too shiny. Just about right, I would say. This DLC is also extremely affordable. Coming in at £13.95, I'd say it's probably one of the best quality and also best priced locomotive add-ons that I've known come out for a very, very long time. Something that is a true testament to Victory Works on their pricing structure. I'm just slightly concerned that the Victory Works team has undersold themselves, and I really truly hope that this is not the case, as this is such an outstanding model. I will also freely admit that this is some of the best scripting yet I've ever seen on a product, especially a Steam Loco in Train Sim. Whilst there may actually be other developers who are far more advanced and functional with scripting, a bit like Smokebox for American enthusiasts, I will have to admit that Victory Works have really taken the stops out and have really developed how they script things over time very seriously. This is something that should hold a lot of credit to itself. The amount of time, money and energy put into scripting so well and scripting to have so many options on a loco is a very hard process and I think it goes underappreciated. I have to admit this is probably one of the most advanced models that I have seen in my time for the UK Steam market in Train Simulator. The final score I give this loco is 10 out of 10. It's not very often you hear me say that, especially in my videos. But, with my personal qualms aside, due to personal taste, I have to admit, this is one of those locos where I do have to admire the true beauty of what's been put into it. The combination of the scripting, the amount of variations and everything else combined really does make this a truly outstanding piece of downloadable content. I seriously think that I've not gone overboard with that score. It is thoroughly, thoroughly deserved. Well done to the Victory Works team. I hope you watch this video, guys, and you really do deserve it. Well done. That concludes this review of the Victory Works Manners. Thank you for watching. Please do subscribe to my channel for more quality content from Train Simulator. I do a variation of reviews, other videos, and live streams. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you next time.